Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonzalez with Go Analytics, and today I wanna to show you all the different ways of connecting to your data from Power BI. So let's head over to my laptop and I'll show you. So I've got Power BI open here, and when you first open Power BI, you'll see this opening screen here. And uh, you'll only see this screen if you haven't unchecked this show this screen on startup button. Uh, which many people choose to do. But right from this opening screen, you can hit Get Data or Get Recent Data Sources. So let's hit Get Data from right here, and we'll see that the dialog box for uh, all of the different data connectors will open up. So now that it's opened up here, we are able to navigate to whatever data source that we need to connect to, uh, and just hit Connect and find that data it within our uh, directory. So I could connect to any sort of my uh, data that I have on my laptop right now. Let's say you don't actually want to use the opening screen. Uh, is there another way to get data? Or if you've unchecked that show this screen on startup button, is there another way to get data? There is another way to connect to your data. And I'll show you right here. So on the ribbon here on the home tab, you'll have a data section, uh, as you can see here. And from here, you can choose the data source that you want to connect to. So you can choose from the most common data sources uh, like Excel workbook, Power BI data sets, SQL Server, or entering in your own data, or getting data from Microsoft Dataverse, as well as you can expand this menu here to see your recent data sources uh, that you've connected to. And if you want to make a connection uh, to that data source again, uh, you can do so. Uh, or you can expand this menu uh, to see all of the common data sources or click more to see all of the data sources. And again, this will open up uh, our dialog box uh, with all of the different data connectors that Power BI offers. And again, we can choose a data source and hit connect, uh, navigate to that data source, or if you're using SQL Server, you can uh, put in your credentials, run your query, and get your data. Okay, so that's two different ways of getting data in Power BI. Is there another way? And yes, there is. There's still a third option, which is using the Power Query Editor. So I'll show you how that works right now. So st we're still looking here at the uh, Home tab. And just beside the Data uh, section here, we have a Queries section. Uh, and we can actually use this uh, transform data to get uh, access to the Power Query Editor. So if we click on that, Power Query Editor will open up. And from here, we can choose to create a new data source. Uh, and we can click this down arrow to open up some common data sources or click more to actually uh, go into um, our dialog box that shows all of the different data connectors for Power BI. And again, we can make a selection, put in our credential or navigate to the file that we want to connect. And we're on our way to getting our data. Now the cool thing about using the Power Query Editor is that once the data is here in the Power Query Editor, you already have immediate access to transform your data. So if you have to do any cleaning up, uh, this is a great way to do it. Uh, because you can get your data sources in here um, uh, and also clean them up at the same time. Uh, now there is one more uh, way that I want to show you and this one is a little bit more advanced. It's more uh, for those people that want to uh, choose a more programmatic way of connecting to data and that's using the advanced editor. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how that works. So in order for the advanced editor to show up, uh, right now you see it's grayed out, and that's because I don't actually have any data queried uh, right here. So in order for me to use the advanced editor to get data in my, um, in my Power BI uh, data model, I actually need to create a blank query, and I do that from the choosing the new data source and clicking on blank query. So what this does is that it creates a blank query. So we have this query one here 
uh, which is just blank. There's nothing in it. So if I open up the advanced editor, you'll see that the data source is set to nothing because it's blank. And from here, uh, if using some M code language, you can choose all of the different data sources that you want to connect to, uh, whether it be an Excel workbook, a CSV file, uh, or you can actually write out your SQL query in here uh, to connect to your database and pull only the data that you are interested in. So this is a really great way uh, for when you're, we're, we're working with uh, relational databases and we want to um, to query our data before we bring it into the data model because we don't want uh, the whole table all of the time. Sometimes we only want a subsection of our of our data that's in the database. So this is a great way to connect to your data source and run uh, a query off of that uh, so that you don't bring in all of the data. So those are all the options of connecting to your data from Power BI. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this one and really learn how to work with Power BI, make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.